Stick with me as I explain out of sight, out of mind, out of reality. This video is going to be a little different because I'm just going to speak to you directly from the heart. There's not going to be graphics and a lot of fancy editing or anything. This is just going to be straight up me talking to you. When I go over to the Mandela chat rooms, sometimes uh, this idea pops up of simulation theory and a lot of people think that that is a part of why the Mandela effects happening that we're having multiple realities kind of crashing into each other or the simulations been hacked so that's how this all ties in with the Mandela effect but I want to go a little further than that out of sight out of mind out of reality let me explain more what I mean by this some people believe that all this is fake here this is they call it a simulation theory, if you've never heard that term, that we're basically living in one giant virtual video game. And like a video game, the whole point of us being here is to collect experience points and level up. Kind of the same thing, that we're trying to amass as much experience as we can by trying different life forms, by trying different uh, situations and, and uh, interactions with those life forms and you just gather all this information before you leave the game. Now, what this means to some people is that everything's real. Well, as real as real is, that it's, if this is all some sort of projected reality, then if you understand that, you can create your own reality. And I'm gonna better explain it this way. Everything's real. So, I know I have some Christian listeners. If you believe in Jesus and God, then that is real. There, you can have conversations and a relationship with Jesus and God. If you believe in spiritual side of you know uh, frequencies and chakras and energy medicine, that is your reality. That's what you believe. That starts becoming real for you. If you believe in nature medicine of leprechauns and gnomes living in your house and um, you know, fairies and spirits in the forest, that stuff becomes real. You project whatever you decide to make your reality. So as we're going through this and you get raised as a little kid that all that exists is science, that we live in this scientific bubble and if it's not proven by some test by people you've never met or don't know, but we're telling you that it's real, if you only believe in science, um, then that's your reality. Nothing will work outside of science. So if you're like a skeptic guy, you have to have scientific studies before you'll believe something. It's all real. It just depends on how you focus. So say you're in a reality that was kind of pushed on you by all these other people that, you know, you get raised and you believe this stuff growing up in government schools that's thrown in your head that, um, that you have to follow these rules and you know certain things work a certain way and there's nothing you out there besides stuff we can prove with tests or can't see or there's there's no faith if, if you get that stuff drilled in you um that's what your reality becomes and it's really easy to go into the negative spiral where you just let other people design your reality for you and you're just a player in it the cool thing about this is once you've figured this out you can design your own reality and the way to change a reality, and it's as simple as this, is out of sight, out of mind, out of reality. If you don't like something negative, you don't like all the politics on TV, and you think the government's, there's, it's hopeless and whatever, stop focusing on it. Just turn the damn TV off. Turn Facebook off. Delete your account. Do that stuff, and you'll be surprised how much more peaceful your life is. Stop giving it energy. Because I used to be, you know, a, a liberty activist where all the time people live in this world of fear. I love the libertarians out there, but holy cow, there's some negative people that, you know, um, if we speak up, the government's going to assassinate you. And when you get popular enough, you'll just disappear one night or they'll round us all up or whatever the, the fear belief is. And if you let that fear creep in your life and that's all you think about, guess what you create? What do you think actually happens to you? Yeah, you create 
that stuff. You draw it to you. So it got to a point in life where I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I am not letting fear make my decisions. I do not care about the consequences. I'm going to live life the way I want to live life. And, you know, the worst thing that happens is, yeah, something bad happens to me because of my life choices. Um, but in the meantime, I got to live a hell of a lifestyle that I want to live. And what I'm finding out is really bad things don't happen unless you invite them in. So if you just simply stop focusing on fear decisions, you can change your own reality. And if you really want to believe in something, you want a better relationship with God and Jesus, stop focusing on the negative stuff about the religion, about going to hell and burning to death if you don't you know, comply to these rules, and start focusing on his positive message. Focus on that his love and compassion and the great stuff he did and the healings he did. That's where you want to focus your attention. Um, and it goes with anything across the board. If you want um, a relationship, a, a better relationship with science, focus on the positive science studies, not the negative junk. Um, you want a better relationship with the forest spirits, then go out there and create a relationship with them. Go leave them presents. Go talk to them. Do whatever you want. Whatever your reality is, it's real. You just have to create it and focus on the part you want. Um, you know, if you're the kind of guy that thinks my house is haunted by ghosts and demons, guess what happens? Yeah, your house gets haunted by ghosts and demons. <clears throat> it's you can bring negative evil forces into this world if you want it you might be that guy that says i wouldn't invite evil forces into my house that's crazy talk yeah you might not be consciously doing it but if you allow others people's junk to create your reality you know authority figures telling you how to think and other people telling you how you've been raised that when you question where do these beliefs come from why do i believe this stuff you know, when you when you dig deep, you'll find out that that junk is creating your reality and inviting this negative world. So I went through a period where I had a couple bad years, man. My life was dark. It, it felt like somebody stepped in and ran my life. It was um, I, I didn't make the best decisions, and and I tried really hard to atone for that. And I started focusing on all the good things in my life. And slowly but surely, everything started changing for the better, and it got better and better, and it's getting better and better. Um, sometimes this is not a quick process. Sometimes this takes a few years to create your reality. And as you do that, it's so peaceful inside. You start um, finally feeling like you know you're the person you're supposed to be. Stop living for other people and what other people want you to do and what society wants you to do. All that crud is fear-driven. All that, I can't really be myself because what are people at work going to think? Or I can't say this thing out loud because, you know, what are my friends going to think? Stop it. Move past it. Start, throw other people's crud out of your mind and start creating your own reality. And whatever you decide, however you want to interact, if you're a, you know, a Christian, a Hindu, a Buddhist, a Jew, um, a spiritual, Wiccan, Whatever your flavor, it's real the more you focus on it and make it real. I believe, I used to be this guy that's a skeptic that didn't believe anything. I was this hard science guy. And if, if you're a science guy, you can do this too with science. Yeah, sure. B believe in science. It's Science is his own religion. You know, there's uh, belief systems in that. You can do that. Um, but understand that I felt that I had to move out of that because... I was feeling things inside that did not match this reality. I would feel these emotions and spiritual connections and stuff that you can't make tests for. And it's not logical and you can't prove it with proof and, and logic. And that realm is, it, it pigeonholes you into such a small place where, um, and I think that was done on purpose. I think if we look back to the beginning of time, we were spiritual beings and everybody knew that. And people knew they could create their own realities. And over time, that's been bred out of us, so we forget all this. 
the more you get in touch with it, the more peaceful it is. And I, um, so I'm not, sorry, I'm not trying to tell you how to think. You need to figure that out yourself, but I am trying to tell you to focus on positive things. It doesn't matter what your belief system is. Focus on the positive things in that belief system. And man, you'd be surprised how much better life gets. You stop living in fear and anxiety and depression of what if, what if, what if. Get out of the world of what if. What if will cripple you. You understand that? It'll keep you paralyzed from growing as a person. There are people that are so protective of what they have. Well, I already have this house and I have this this life I like, I, but I, I feel empty inside because I can't move forward. Um, but I'm scared to lose all this stuff. I'm scared to lose my husband or, or my wife or I'm scared to my kids will think I'm crazy or I'm scared my friends will or my church. You know what? Stuff changes. Stop being so scared of it. You know what you have to ask yourself? What is the worst case scenario if this happens? Okay, you end up divorced. You know how many happy divorced people there are? Lots. You know? Okay, um, my kids might think I'm crazy for a year, but after a few months they don't care anymore. They've accepted me and loved me. Stop worrying about what people think and stop trying to be something for other people. Focus on positive things. Build yourself up and stop living by society's BS rules that are in play. Um, that, By the way, you never agreed to these rules. You just kind of like grew up and they were here. And this stuff was thrust on you. You know, why do you let yourself follow these rules and, and why not step out of other people's ideas make your own ideas and then you'll really be free out of sight out of mind out of reality get it out of your reality thanks for joining me this morning I just got out of the shower I overslept and my cat ran off so he's not in this video but I do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me and like you all I'm in this with you man I'm trying to build my own reality and and sometimes it's really tough you know um someone will say negative comments and, and you kind of want to like your first knee-jerk reaction is to fight back and say something bad and I have to catch myself and I have to remind myself daily do what's the positive decision what's the positive decision and you know uh turning the other cheek <laughs> turning the other cheek is is hard uh I get it but it is rewarding when you practice it and yeah, you'll slip up here and there, but as you move towards positive, your life just gets so much better. You start bringing in all these cool people and all these good things, and I'm really excited and looking forward to see what's coming next. I'm just going to keep down this path and, and keep making, you know, when I come to a choice, I'm going to make the positive decision, and that's what I'm going to focus on. So thank you so much. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is the first time you've seen this. I do more stories besides uh, Mandela Effect stories. You can take a look at my back catalog. I've got seven years of stories. But if you're here for the Mandela stories, I'm starting to get a lot of them. So feel free to check out the playlist that appears at the end, and um, you will see a bunch of them. Also, if you want to see some of my older private and unlisted videos, you can see those.